<clears throat> Hi everyone. On this week's show, we're going to talk about energy. I received a lot of emails about what's going on in Haiti and you know why this happens on, on a grander scale. Why would people agree to come and live a life that you know ended in such destruction? And I want to go back to us as, as souls away from our human bodies. We're all made up of energy and when we bring that energy to the physical dimension we can make it a better place or we can make it a worse place and by the things we do and, and the actions we take or the actions we don't take. And our energy on a conscious level can create destruction or it can create goodness. And, you know, we've had a lot of destruction in the last 10 years. We've had a lot going on. There have been a lot of signs from the energy of the earth saying, hey, wake up. You know, you're, you're sucking the life out of me. You're not taking care of me. And, yes, sometimes it's in places where there is ignorance. There isn't the knowledge to create a better place. And so the bad things happen in those places but they're a wake-up call for everyone everywhere they're a reminder that we need to do something uh, it makes my heart sing that so many people want to help haiti that suddenly it's like hello it's our most impoverished you know country in our hemisphere and nothing's been able to be done about it and unfortunately sometimes it takes disastrous things like this for other countries to be to be able to come in and help you know uh, countries like Haiti are ruled by dictatorship and it's all about the dictator and not about the people and I think sometimes Americans forget everyday Americans forget how good we have it how lucky we are to live in this country and have what we have and not, you know, be three million people in a, you know, 50 mile radius living on top of each other. And, you know, being able to, you know, have things that we have, you know, to earn a living and, and have nice things instead of earn a living and having a government tell you this is how much you get. Because that's how it is in many other countries. Um, and I know it's hard for some of us to understand that, but now do you understand why so many people try to come to America? I really don't understand the attitude of some people who are like, oh, we don't want you here. Well, isn't that what America was made on? America was made on immigrants. We're all, my grandparents were immigrants. So why are we holding back? Um, I do understand we have, you know, many, many people in America now, but way back when, you know, we didn't, and we could have afforded to do more at the time, just like we did for, for Cuba. Um, and unfortunately, I don't know enough about politics to know what we can do or what we can't do in that realm, so it's just my heart saddens that we can't do more. But I was amazed last night when I saw how many people rallied together to donate, to donate clothes, to donate medical supplies, to donate money. Um, it always makes me happy to see um, what you would call a celebrity sticking their neck out, going, we have to do something. We have to take care of this. We have to make a difference. Because we have the ability to do so. But back to why these things happen and it's the energy it is you can't sit 3 million people on a 50 mile radius and not expect something to happen to the earth that they live on and in the same respect you know you can't expect you can't expect us to be negative all the time and think that that's okay there are so many people who have negative attitudes in the world who don't see what others see. I can, I can tell you five people off the top of my head that I know 
that if I said to them, you have such negative attitudes, they'd be like, what are you talking about? And they would, they would pretty much tell me I was lying. But you don't understand that just the littlest amount of negative energy on top of someone else's, on top of someone else's, on top of the millions of people who live in the county I live in, on top of the you know millions of people who live in the state I live in, that affects us all, everywhere, you know? It's like the domino effect. When you're happy, everyone's happy. When you're sad, everyone's sad. But when you're doing good for the earth, when you're making your small contribution to save the earth, then bad things don't have to happen. I think we really need to take, a, every one of us needs to take a look at ourselves and what are we doing in our little corner of the world to make a difference. You know, I can't be George Clooney and, you know, have a telephone tonight. I would love to be in that position. But at this moment in my life, I am not. But God bless him for doing that. And, but there's got to be something I can do. I mean, even my tiny little donation that I made was something. But then look at your life. What are you doing to help you be happy? To help you do what you were brought here to do? To help you have a better planet that you live on. The littlest things mean a lot. And I in no way mean to take any kind of emotion away from what's happening out there. But at the same time, take a look inside. What little piece can you do to make a difference? in your world so that catastrophes like this don't happen in the future. And yes, you, you who's saying, oh, that I can't do anything, what, what, my little attitude adjustment is going to make a difference? Yeah, your attitude adjustment will make a huge difference. Ciao.